Hi everyone, welcome back to our love nest, you guys. TT here with another channel message. For those of you that are recently drawn to our channel, I will be channeling a very special message intended to resonate within divine timing. Feel free to browse throughout all of the Love Nest playlists for other messages that may call out to you. Details for booking personal sessions or pre-recorded readings are all listed down in the description box. Um, feel free to tap in. Let's go ahead and connect with spirit and get the channel message. Before we jump into the channel message, I feel guided to... Um, I heard begin again. Okay, so I feel guided to start with just random downloads, confirmations, okay, that I intuitively get. I also wanted to mention to you, Taurus, if you are interested in participating, what is it? Workshop. Okay, yes, tarot workshop. If you are interested in joining the class, all of that information is also on the website. That will take place August 10th. So be sure to secure your spots before they're all gone. All right, so let's get into these confirmations. <clears throat> so I am tapped into hmm, someone that's like hot topic. Okay, I'm picking up hot topic energy. Um, like people are always trying to keep up with what you're doing. You're hot. Something about you is very attractive, very magnetic. So you are getting a lot of attention at the time in which this will resonate. Either you're in the tabloids. Um, there's a lot of commentary. Okay, there could also be... Um, doesn't feel like drama per se, but it feels like a, a platform of some sort. Uh, you have some form of influence at the time in which this is really is popping off is what I'm hearing. Things are really heating up for you. Yeah, we have practice. So you've been preparing for this for a very long time. Excuse me. Mm, yeah, a very long time. So... You're at a space in your life or in your career where you're embarking on life purpose, okay? You can be a musician, a writer, um, a speaker, okay? It, it does feel as if you either do something with your hands in your voice or it's a combination of all three maybe you do something with your body you have multiple talents um, I'm also picking up on something where you may stand or you may be transitioning into something where you can uh, you've been preparing to be able to withstand something for a long period of time um, I'm picking up like a multiple combination of skill or talent that you possess and you're either attempting to blend them all together or you're looking for a creative way to express all the above okay um so at this phase on your journey you are choosing what you will or will not stand for in these fields in these industries uh, people placing limitations on what you can do in a particular industry how you can how you, how society is intended, you know, expected to view you, see you. It feels like you're throwing a monkey wrench in um, the expectation of people, humanity. So confirmation, if you've been feeling like there are things within the system, an industry, a field at your jobs um, that you just don't, you won't stand for anymore or that you just don't care to support anymore. Like you're not feeding the egos or the narcissism of humanity as far as them expecting you to look a certain way, talk a certain way, behave a certain way. There is something about you that's heating up. There's something that's rising and boiling to the top and you want to express this, but it's very, it could be very controversial as well. And with all of the cancel culture and things like that, um, People really believe that they have control over freedom of expression. And I feel like you're someone that you want to do away with that. 
not because you're trying to change the world, but because it restricts you and you don't like to feel restricted. And I feel like you've been someone that's been restricted for far too long. So now as you branch off into this higher level of status that you're about to come into, um, you're trying to do it your way. And I feel like there's people around you that are trying to keep you small or narrow minded and really trying to restrict your ability to fly like an ego eagle. <laughs> I can never say that word right. Uh, you get my drift, right? Yes. I feel like there's you're a breath of fresh air or you will be okay. When I'm tapped into this, <clears throat> Yeah, so you're being called to do something about this. You've been feeling it for far too long, like in so many ways. Yeah, you feel you feel called to do something forgiving and healing. You feel called to do something, speak about something, you know, revive something. It feels like you're a resurrector. That's what I'm tapped into. Like someone that has the ability to resurrect Um those that feel shame, guilt, they're unable to move on past something. You feel as if you possess this ability to use your attraction, to use your platforms, your magnetism, and your spiritual gifts and abilities to ring the alarm, to draw attention to, to give fair um, retribution in certain areas to those that have been trying really hard to overcome certain experiences maybe bad choices in their younger life just feeling as if there's no break is what I'm picking up here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I feel like you are releasing yourself you're releasing yourself from some type of past. Okay. This is about you forgiving yourself. And allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to do something in the present moment. There was something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Okay. That you that that's blocking you right now. There's some type of blockage here when it comes to love, when it comes to romance that really has prevented you from being able to receive love. You may be a person that it's easy for you to give love. It's easy for you to show it for other people, but you struggle with being able to receive it. OK, it may feel awkward. It may feel like it's not genuine. It may feel like you are being babied or you're being soft or you're not being hard enough, you know. And there's something about unrequited love here. Mm -hmm. So you are someone that experienced an unrequited love situation and either you are trying to forgive yourself for not knowing it was unrequited or you're trying to forgive yourself for not fighting right not saving someone else I feel like there's an energy of not being able to save someone else from being in an unrequited love situation and then there's the the spectrum or the side of of this same situation of feeling as if you should have known better not to be fall into a unrequited love situation so there's a lot that is weighing in the balance right now um and yet and still, at the same time, you still have to perform, you still have to show up, you still have to produce, um, create, lead, inspire. And so spirit is use, using this as an opportunity to acknowledge just how far you have come, even though you may feel very hard on yourself um, in so many areas of your life. So when you're guided to this reading, uh, when spirit places this on you, this will be exactly what you need to hear to set yourself free. Because at the end of the day, no one else can do that for you but you, right? We can take it to the will, but only you have to, only you can drink it, all right? <clears throat> so let's keep, let's keep channeling, <clears throat> What I'm seeing here is that you will not care about critics. Okay, this time around, you will not care what people say in regards to some type of business partnership. 
Okay, because we have spiritual leader in reverse, spiritual teacher in reverse. So people, authority figures in your life. Yeah, you're about to write your own story. Mm -hmm. You have a book inside you that wishes to be expressed. Make time to write it. So I see you not caring what people say. You're not going to care um, if other people agree that you're making the right choices in your life. Something is bittersweet. I had a very sweet taste on my tongue just now. Something's going to taste really sweet, but it's also going to be bitter because I feel as if <clears throat> it's going to be bitter before it comes sweet. There's something about there is a love connection that's meant for you, but it will be bitter before it's sweet. And I feel like the bitter part that spirit is, you know, revealing here is the opposition okay if this is in regards to a business partnership i also feel like you won't think twice when it comes to partnering with the right people you won't you won't second guess choosing the right divine union when the opportunity presents itself all right at this point on your journey that i'm tapped into You've made up your mind that you will redeem yourself. There's some type of past life conflict with monk and nun here. You had some type of vow or promise from a past life. Or this may be um, a, a memory from this life that may ripple from a past life of some type of vow or commitment that fell through there's something about in the past or from a past life something in this life echoes from a past life where you failed to protect someone that you felt divinely guided to protect okay so either this is something that happened when you were younger or you received a trigger Okay, that pressed a button on your timeline when you were younger that ripples from that past life. So there's something about you letting family, friends, mentors, um, your reputation, something of that sort talk you out of going for who or what you desired for yourself. Okay, there is someone that you wanted. There's something that you wanted. And this is giving me um, like to a higher cause with monk or none in reverse. So something felt like you had a higher purpose. This was a higher love for you. This was maybe a first love for you for some of you that doesn't have to be for everybody. Um, this particular connection made you feel like it was foolish to think that you know, loving someone that deeply was real or loving someone that wholeheartedly was even a real thing, you know, even something that you should have even belie believed in to begin with. But a part of you felt as if you should have, you know, protected that person. You should have spoke up. You should have fought harder, right? You felt as if, it was your duty or your job to protect someone from some type of negative force that you felt was affecting another person's judgment. That's what this is about. Right? Because monk or nuns, they devote themselves to a life of, you know, celibacy, of discipline in order to keep certain dark entities out keep certain influences away from a very sacred space right your temple your body and it feels as if mm, in some way you may feel as if you failed yourself all right for some of you this is I failed to keep my body sacred and I fell into a narcissistic relationship or a tyrant or I failed to to um, remain a virgin or there's something about a, a vow that you have always felt strongly about but felt as if you compromised before on that integrity and it got you in relationships that were very toxic okay and then for someone else it feels as if you you had an honor or a duty 
to protect someone from falling down a path. Okay. You know what I mean? Because what do monks and nuns do, right? People come to you for help. And when you are aware of what's going on with them, you may feel like you have, you know, to keep up on the member or the person. But this is giving me with all this unrequited love, learning and forgiving, monk and nun, author. Something about this ripples from a story where you weren't able to save someone from a unrequited love situation, a karmic or, or, or starting a life and laying that to rest. There's a remnant. Okay. That I feel like is coming from a new love here. Oh yeah. Okay. So what's happening is you've met someone at the time in which this reading is meant to resonate. You've met someone. This person is new. But something about their story with author reminds you of an unrequited love situation that you haven't been able to forgive yourself of. Because you take great pride, right? And pride is going to be the transformation that occurs for the both of you. Okay. Cause I am definitely tapped into a divine union here. Mm -hmm. Because there's that narrative of love's going to get you killed, but pride is going to be the death of you. And this is about loyalty. There's a loyalty undertone undertone here. Um, support, angelic support, protection, feeling as if you both share a purpose to create a new world and the other to protect the integrity of that new world by any means necessary. And somewhere along this journey, you both have a history or a past that ripples many past lives of being unable to See something into fruition, a cause into fruition, a purpose into fruition, right? Multiple people, unrequited love situations, like I said, family, friends, business partners, romantic partners have shown you time and time again that being a fool in love only hurts you, right? It only hurts your heart. It only hurts. No one appreciates you. They don't know how to love you properly. And that's going both ways. <clears throat> so something about this, this new divine union will trigger this memory. And it would be like an annoying nag that you can't ignore. It's going to be like an emotion that you can't get rid of. I see like, yes, and that, hold on. You don't know whether to cry, whether to run. Rather to hide because you feel something happening. <clears throat> I have an acid reflex. It's what it feels like out of nowhere. I just, it's like that frog in your throat where you want to say something, but you can't say it and you don't have the words. <clears throat> That's what I pick up here. Because this goes back to either someone's throat being restricted, expression being restricted, and the other person, something about feeling restricted to say what it, what it is you wanted to say to someone, right? Because of the effects it would have on your reputation, the effects that it would have on your, your status, right? But feeling deeply connected to that union, Mm hmm. Hmm. This has something to do with one or both of you passing away because it, it feels like a death where it's like held in pain. Right. One or both of you either wasn't able to defend the other from some type of monster, some type of tragedy, some type of ending, you know, Similar to how that Romeo and Juliet type of love forbidden, right? And 
finding the other person unable to like not being able to make it in time there's this energy of not making it in time to protect someone either from themselves or from someone else Mm -hmm. and so it's like the desire to go on is gone with it you know and not maybe not to that extreme but I do see is here something about pairs with author and support yep your life purpose fully supports you so alignment is happening here and choosing what you will or will not stand for is here again okay this is a new dimension this is a new reality but it echoes a prior dimension or a prior reality that once mirrored that to ring true, but the choice is in the present moment. The choice is in the now in order to be able to see what's right in front of you. The opportunity, the universe opens doors for us to walk through opportunities to redeem ourselves and that's what I'm seeing here will you be able to recognize one another will you be able to see the divine light in each other so this memory is intended to scare the both of you all right it's meant to trigger you you will want to run at first when you first experience this love when you first become aware That this new person reminds you of a point in your life where you would have risked, 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 excuse me, you would have risked, can't even, I can't even say the damn word. You would have risked, why can I say risk? You would have risked it all. All. Glory, flame, flame. (laughs) Can I get my tongue back? Can I get my, can I get my? Okay, you would have risked. Mm, mm, That's that's what it feels like. It feels like just to bring yourself to that point again. It's like, mm, 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 mm. (laughs) that's what I feel. Every time I'm about every time I am about to say something, it's like restriction and restriction block block. But that's where your soul wants to go. That's where you're, that's where you soar. That's where you fly. That's where you experience the freedom, right? So at first glance, of, upon first meeting this new person, mere conversation, mere aura, you're going to want to run out of fear. All right? Both of you are going to feel as if you aren't equipped. That you're either going to sink or swim. (laughs) This is where an immense amount of pressure, something is meant to happen. You're meant to turn off the logic, turn off the overthinking, turn off that, that brain that refuses to accept, right? Accept what you feel, embrace what you feel, fall into what you feel. (sighs) You're going to wonder if you're equipped to to really sync with someone so closely that you resonate so closely with. Because outside of yourself, I'm speaking to a collective that made a vow to yourself that you would never compromise yourself again, your heart again for another person. You would never sacrifice yourself or lay down your life for another person outside of yourself again because of the unrequited love situations. It it broke you down and grinded you up. And here you have a new connection, something that you thought you would never recover from is being put back together. Right? 
the parts of you are being put back together and it's scary I'm hearing something about a confirmation. Someone could speak Spanish. Okay. Or this may be um, Spanish. I don't know. Some I heard Spanish. Someone could speak Spanish. Or when you hear the word Spanish, it may trigger some type of memory. Um, it may be from a time period or something like that. Because we have a lot of past life energy here. You could have wrote a book. In Spanish, you could have interpreted something in Spanish or you created something about something about time. They're showing me a picture. Something is on time. Hold on, I have to show you what it looks like. <clears throat> so here is a spot. Okay, let's call this a point. A point, not on a timeline, but a point of time. Okay, so we're talking about space. Space of matter. Why? Because what does matter do? Matter is anything that occupies space, right? If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm not no math. <laughs> You know, I'm not no science major, okay? But there's something about matter here. So when you fold this paper here, right? You probably can't see it. But if I were to imprint or create an impression here, you would see the dot. Okay, you can see right through it, it would feel so real as if that time, that period of time, that matter of time is right here. You see, because technically these two, these two experiences mirror a familiar experience. Right. But rather than fearing this experience happening again. Right. Let's call this dimension one. Right. At a, that level of consciousness that happened and this same thing can happen in the same lifetime, but just at different ages or phases of our existence. Right. So let's say, for example, at this period of time, something happened. You made a choice because everything is about choices. Right. That's the only thing that matters. Right. Those choices create ripples. OK, those ripples echo out. And then we have infinite branches. OK, that mirror the same experiences, maybe slightly different things like that. But when you close the gap. Right. And this is what doing the work looks like when you close the gap. You restore fragments of yourself. And every time you meet someone where there's a mirror or echo of a past life or a mirror or echo of a past, a moment in your in your development of life, this lifetime where you have said to yourself, I would have done things differently. The moment you say that, boom, a ripple of time creates and the opportunity to do it differently also, it exists now. It's real because you you wrote it. You spoke it into existence. Now, this particular opportunity is presenting itself again. It's just a knob. Not on my knob. Corn oh. <laughs> on the cob. All right. It's just a knob, but it's a harvest. It can reap you a beautiful harvest. Something greater is behind this door and that's what the universe offers us opportunities to um of experience opportunities of experience that we now become aware that we can sh that we can shape okay and facilitate through choices again but instead of it being one that you're unaware of the greatest gift that we receive from these encounters 
these downloads is an opportunity to be able to recognize and be awake and aware to what's happening around us, right? So at this opportunity, here you have another dynamic. It's a new person, except with this new connection, something about it makes you afraid because you're like, I don't want to know if I want to open that door because it reminds me and I'm unsure. So now fear makes it further and further apart. And now they, they're in separation. They do not align. Um, well, they may align, but they do not, they can't come close because fear separates them. But as you close the gap, the door opens and you're able to conquer fear after fear after fear, choice, any choice that you've ever felt that you didn't make that you wanted to make before you get to do it differently. Right. And there you have virtually a time machine. There you have your ability becoming aware of your ability to because energy never dies you can only move things in a particular direction right so now you get to move matter so now let's talk about this particular matter like i said the universe is offering you an opportunity to redeem yourself and in order for you to do that, you have to close the gap of fear, right? Mm -hmm. So whoever you are, whoever y'all are, wherever this divine connection comes about, um, your call is very simple. It's action. There's a door, there's a window, there's an opportunity. This is about action, taking action, not sleeping on yourself, okay? This may be not for some of you. This may not even be about a divine union. This may be a divine life purpose. And you felt like when you were younger, you didn't go after your dreams or you didn't sign that application or you didn't take that offer. This is a divine opportunity, a door um, that will open for you as you face the fear that closes the gap between you and your heart's desires. It's that portal that connects you to that infinite all, okay? The infinite possibilities. So your call to action, we're going to talk about divine union specifically for a second that I'm seeing here is, um, hmm, it's instincts. This call that you feel will feel like an instinct. This call to action will actually be your instincts awakening. What you failed to have in the past was the instincts to ignore everything around you and trust that gut feeling right but this time the karmics won't be able to hear the call because it's coming from within you're no longer asking for advice from other people you're no longer you're no longer asking your friends your family if this is what you're supposed to do you know that this is your point this is your point of matter that this is all that matters. So we're going to <clears throat> we're going to get into your download here. Let's get into your download. Yeah, we have persecution and inquisition. Mhm. Mm so something about this is is big, okay? When I tell you it's big, like it's big, big. Let me sip some water. Mm, that was good. Okay. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Okay. So something about doesn't matter what it looks like. This is going to be big. This is going to be hard because it doesn't matter what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what it looks like. So how you'll know persecution and inquisition. You can't protect someone from what people say. So that's a burden on your back that you have to let go. That's a ten of wands that you have to release. I feel like what what this divine union with romance here needs to know is that it's going to feel like the call is in your blood. Okay, the information has already been recorded. The infinite amount of ways, the visions... Of the predictions of ways in which this union can play out has already been foretold. You are 
trusting the author. You're you're trusting the divine architect. Okay. That created this union to begin with. <clears throat> so this call that you feel that's deep in your blood, it's in your DNA, is connected to deep roots that cannot be explained by mere mortals. It's something that cannot be explained by the average person, professional, um, things like that, you know. You can't explain why an animal comes out and they're already walking, okay? It's something that's instinctual. So it's going to feel like you, like your instincts were placed inside of you to love, protect, and honor this divine union till death do you part. It's, in, it's inside of you. It activates inside of you. And against all potential threats, against all persecution, Against all potential assets, professional opinions, wise counsel, elders, okay, grown-ups, people that have done this more than more than once, any form of opposition whatsoever, none of it is going to be able to de to deny you each other ever in any lifetime because it's already prophesied. It's like a pulse. You guys represent some type of pulse. You are the pulse. <clears throat> so the download that I got um, is about this divine union here. Hmm. All right. We have one, two, one. Okay, so we have two people that, like I said, that are bridging the gap, okay? Whatever was dividing them, whatever separated them, it's important that you guys get it together at this time during a very crucial period in humanity. Series of events are connected to your ebb and flow series major life events are all connected to your union what plays out next is a direct reflection of your contact and no contact your resistance and your and your acceptance um and you will see events play out that mirror that separation that integration or that separation right like i said you're the pulse you're connected to the pulse of nature is instinctual right it's connected to the earth your communication center is is gravitationally pulled at all times to create ripples of events that either tear or repair all right i hope someone got that so let's talk about it one of you will want to make sure That whoever this person is, isn't with you for fame, clout, money, attention, or some type of dark entity, um, false person, witchcrafty type of energy that is ill-willed. There's something about ill will. All right, not saying that you don't have those abilities and things like that, but one of you is going to really have their red flags up against these types of people right so your judge of character is always on because you are the execute you're the executionist okay you're the person that determines if something is safe or not so you've been practicing for lifetimes on how to discern character okay so you look for certain telltale signs you look for what drive people it's very strategic okay which determines as well if you will or will not do something, right? It's the ill will. It's the, the spirit. You really try to, to uncover or unveil the person behind the mask. So that's one of you. And then the other one. Hold on.
The other one is going to want to make sure that you aren't with them for your ego, right? Pinky in the brain type of energy. This desire to control something, to win something, to have something shiny, um, to dictate, to cage, to place in a in a high tower and restrict the freedom of expression in the world, the freedom to to experience all the beauty thereof, right? That's that's gonna be the fear of the other person, which is the extreme of that what drives people to love something so much but also despise it all at the same time has been the journey for another person. So the both of you will overcome these fears, right? The both of you will continue to mate for lifetimes like the swans you were always created to be. You were carefully crafted during this time for a particular reason. And I feel like that's what we finna get into. Yeah, because there's something about being unable to freely express yourself, which takes us back to the very beginning, right? One person wants to appreciate, wants to be appreciated. The other person wants to feel like they can express themselves and they don't have to sacrifice themselves in order to please the entire world and continue to carry the weight of the world on their back. And, um, and the other person you know, has been waiting to feel safe to receive. Both of them have been trying to feel safe to receive love, right? And they're tired of taking L's for sure. They're just sick and tired of taking all these L's that come along with this journey. So let's get into the, it's how you live it. You learn it. Channel message here. So we got stability. <clears throat> okay so something about title here so the both of you have created i feel like there's a game here right a very strategic game it's a puzzle but the right person will know how to unlock this puzzle and this is why no this ain't meant for everybody because like i said whoo at some point, there are a series of tests that the both of you are going to continue to pass with flying colors and it will it will crack whatever maze that you put up, whatever mask you put up. Yeah, conflict in reverse and you and you will will desire to create. You're going to feel creative around each other. You're going to feel inspired by each other. You're going to feel like you could put down your your arms around each other. You're the space in the chaotic world you are worried the both of you are intended to go for peace and refuge your sanctuary okay that's why monk and nun, nun is here we have travel here <clears throat> i told you there's some type of damn events playing out huh. i'm hearing something about birth charts there's something about birth charts that are significant when it comes to chemistry, chemical makeup, the way that we're designed. Um, there are certain. I'm hearing chemical elements. All right. Somebody may resonate with the chemical elements. Because <clears throat> I'm seeing a science project and in this science project, you think of every time you've tried applying different other elements so there's something about experience here whether it's in this lifetime alone or in multiple lifetimes y'all have tried or y'all have played out all the infinite possibilities and you're on you are on the timeline where you get it right <laughs> and and you want to be loyal to each other that is the desire that that's coded inside of you is to be loyal to each other Hold on a second. Let me make sure. Yeah, no drama. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have twin flames. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like I said, this is five. 
something could play out five times or something could have played out five times. Okay. Like maybe you've met five people. I don't know. Maybe you've been around the world and you've seen a lot of people. You've seen a lot of things. You have experience here. Um, and nobody is has ever been special enough to earn some type of title or to maintain so you have searched high and low. And it feels like um, like not many people have the ability to make you want to look at yourself and do better. There's something about um, this is the type of connection that inspires you to do better with Twin Flame at the bottom without having to tell each other, you know. It's like y'all y'all speak the same soul language. Um, don't even have to be the same nationalities. This has something to do with, like I said, deep in your roots, deep in your soul, deep in your Akashic. There is just something where you guys will naturally feel safe to be your authentic selves with each other. Y'all have the same spirit. So, mm-hmm. Keep hearing fly like an ego into the future so something about time traveling traveling is significant um there's movement here moving yeah there's something about separation Ooh, the ace of cups okay the ace of pentacles so someone has has put themselves on like, do not disturb, put themselves on pause. They are, um, they've been focusing on their stability. Yes, five of pentacles, changing their fate. And they hope that you've been, that you left the light on for them and waiting for the right time. Here. There's a series of tests that have played out with the hermit in reverse. And with the five of pentacles, this is someone that's been out in the cold. And they, they're, they're hoping that the, this light has been left on. This is the type of connection where you felt like um, something had to be resurrected with the four of swords. Healed. Stability. Root chakra healing. Oh, the hermit in reverse. Like someone is waiting until they bump into you again, wait until they see you face to face, eye to eye. All right, the six of swords in reverse. No, that's the ten of swords. Yeah, the ten of swords in reverse. And so as a way to like keep the drama down and not have a lot of drama and conflict and not hurt you along the way. This is someone that's been acting like dead, out of sight, out of mind, MIA, missing. No one will know what this person is doing or what they're up to. They're very strategic because there's been a lot of go gossip, chatter. Um, so this connection has been divinely protected. All right, so this temperance energy is telling me like procrastination um, with the strength card. Yeah, so if you... Like something about procrastination, but also like perfectionism, right? So procrastinating, but also desiring to be, have a perfect transition from one phase to the other with the two of cups. And so it's like coming out of this isolation or no contact, somebody wants to like transition into something very smoothly and almost like perfect with, without a flaw. But in order to do that, Someone is waiting for the right time or a specific event to happen in order for them to. Hmm. In order for them, like communication to come in, there's something about communication, doing their research, investigating, really wanting to make sure that there is no potential. Like, I mean, this person has literally laid out all the possible oppositions conflicts or deviations of their plan here and so they're on silent they're in sh hush mode where they're not saying anything because there's something about um 
someone is going to like waiting for the right time to strike okay someone knows a person very well this person may be waiting for like retrograde to be over someone is very good at um anchoring something down and so anytime that this person goes quiet or they turn their energy off they have the ability to turn the power off around the world okay so major when this person really like goes in stealth mode all right they're unfindable they're untraceable here yes with the wrath here it's like Fam family sorrow as well something could trigger this and this may be someone that is not maybe they're not aware of it or one of you is not aware of it i'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears. okay so with this wrath here she's holding it in her hand someone is trying to show you I feel like y'all are in this phase of testing grounds where it's like, I want to show you my ugly. I want to show you what's the work. What are your fears? So it's like, let's say, for example, how whatever you guys do for work, whatever you guys do is something about revealing to the other person. Their dark side. Right. I want you to know my light and my dark. I want you to see it all. So, you know, there's nothing to fear. But in order to receive that message, it's going to be like underground. So I'm seeing like there's a city above ground and then underground is like, you know how in Stranger Things it's like flipped. So it's like a city upright and then upside down is messages upside down. It's underneath outside the grid, outside the, the 3D. <clears throat> And so when this person leaves the grid in such a power outage type of way, it has like a, a ripple effect here. Mm-hmm. Where they have to wait for the coast to clear. Because there's something about anchor here. And so they would give you messages and signs in the 3D by major events okay you see the major events here with travel so what someone is doing what their plans are where they're going it's like a battleship right so you know how in battleship um you would call out a code and the code would tell you exactly someone's location what they're doing what they're planning only though only the person that knows how to crack the code or decipher the code would be able to understand the message okay because it, it again it's internal um instincts hmm so here there are three ships already in the in the ocean so there's already been like three major events or three major signs um hmm but one of the one of the ships haven't one of the ships haven't really there's supposed to be like three major events here because we have events five. So there's a total of five. But the three, some way, somehow is connected with like watching you like a hawk. I'm hearing like a hawk. Something to do with hawks, black operative, um, black hawk down. I don't know. But I'm seeing here. Think of it like a like a video game, right? In a video game type of simulation, when you're on a certain level, you have there are certain clues that you collect and then you get to a particular you gather this one in order to open that door. So if you're waiting for a door to open or opportunity to open, there's something about waiting for specific messages from specific events, you know? That are prophesied to happen. Okay. Huh. 
And then something will be resurrected here with the hermit in reverse. Because you see here, look. The hermit, the upside down world, and then above. So something about um, as above, so below. Huh. Is someone dropping out of the sky like a parachute? I don't know. There's something about a parachute dropping out of the sky. Um... This may be a near life death experience or something significant. <sighs> this may have already happened, but I feel like this is I feel like this is now. The four of wands is here. Something is being something that was tied up is being made straight. You see the serpent here? So there's something that was being tied up that's being made straight cuz typically the hermit um walks with a staff right that rod and that staff they come from but he has like a familiar okay so this is a spirit guide so he's not alone he has a spirit guide and it's like a wolf a dog so a protective energy here a elder a wise elder um giving the clues to the riddle and there's stars and he's Something about winter may be significant. You see the drastic change in time, okay, in climate, okay, elevation as well. So there's something about stars and alignment, waiting for the stars to align. And there's something about alignment of the stars in conjunction with like summer, spring, fall. Like there's something about major... Major solar system transitions as well. So that's why I was hearing birth chart needing to know um, something to do with birth charts. You need to know your birth charts because it's going to give you some type of blue, some about a map. There's something about a, a atlas. Okay. You have some type of atlas map, a natural atlas, a natural navigation system to each other. And wherever you go, no matter what you do, it's going to always, the pieces are always going to want to find each other like magnets. Wow. Mm-hmm. And it's giving me like one is ahead of each other. But this is the four of wands. Nevertheless, you will know why all the all the answers so 444 here so at for protection purposes you're going to know all the answers if you feel like six of pentacles i don't know something wasn't able to continue going or growing or something like that remember the light is on and this is to protect you from not being some type of um because you're so loyal you would have followed someone into the dark and so someone may have pushed you away as as a way to protect you and not affect you because the coast may have been unclear something about the coast not being clear um but there's something to do with a third ship coming in something to do with a port huh <clears throat> the less you know the better so someone's always watching over you the less you know the better because this is still coming up as a page of store page of swords because you can only like either you're some type of reporter um, messenger there's something about messenger reporter investigator you may be <sighs> spy operative or, or that may be something that's suspected because of the type of you know it remind me of ninja turtles ninja turtles Okay, I promise you. <laughs> this reminds me of Ninja Turtles. Okay, it's where it's like 
there is some type of vigilante or someone that is defending that that has been defending like Superman. Like there's a Superman or a superhero out here, but no one would believe they exist except with this hermit energy in reverse, you may be able to know or you find out or one of you guys find out what's about to happen and they're going to give you, yeah, I told you, Evan Almighty. And so you may be predicting, oh shit, there's going to be some type of truth that's exposed in regards to some type of conspiracy to... Oh, shit. Frog. Like, to get ahead, a leap. You're being given some type of prediction in regards to... Huh. Oh, okay, okay. So, something is a, something is a decoy or a distraction to something that's happening... In the world, stability here. All right. So to get people like out of their homes or out of like their nine to five jobs, the transition from the transition from a major event or a great re depression or recession or something like that, there were certain plans to, there were certain. initiatives that were done okay to force humanity to transition into a more virtual society okay so naturally given the level of development of evolution of humanity at the time it wouldn't have wanted to transition so quickly into you know how everything is vir you know virtual delivery virtual education virtual work from home all of those things were catalysts um for for some type of mission hidden agenda and so there's some type of cloaked Vigilante, Mission Impossible, that has been receiving, okay, or keeping up with it, hidden in plain sight, if you will. Um, because so many different major corporations or establishments or people, uh, people of positions of power helped pay for they saw this as an opportunity yes they would take a financial fall yes they would have to have their businesses would be shut down for a while but it was supposed to offset each other right but what happened with that blackout what happened with that 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 shutdown was someone else like a ghost something else was able to come in that was lurking in the darkness and it feels like some type of some type of bug some type of virus something that that was like a it's not tied to one particular person it's like artificial in a way because it mimics the natural selection but it's like a so let's say you develop a program right and then the program creates like a like a symptom to the initial agenda, right? So when you rush anything, something is give it gave birth to a, a great darkness that utilizes the very thing that we now are we use as stability for our society, for our function, right? Functionality is placed heavily over this. So now we have everything pretty much We've done we've gone so far away from manuscript 
hands on where everything is digital currency, digital reaction, digital everything. And a part of it, it's not that the the evolution wasn't going to happen. It was about wanting to be the first to get it out there, wanting to be a part of the the select that had first dibs on being ahead of these events okay now <clears throat> these events are carefully managed okay carefully managed so there is some type of sacrifice involved here whether that be losing of housing stability losing of life in some form shape or fashion it would be like a, a new leaf would be turned over, right? But for many of you, you were carried through by a high, higher power. The less you knew at the time was important because you needed to be able to discern the the voice. You needed to be able to recognize when God is speaking to you and when something artificial is speaking to you. You need to be able to recognize morality character discernment all those different things so you had to ascend as a part of the simulation versus placing you away from it where you would be untouched or un you know so you did go through hardships in some capacity what they're saying to me right now is that darkness is there has already made its way so far deep into something. So I'm seeing events where people are complaining about hum humans. People are complaining about things turning off. Okay. Their, their TV's turning off. Their technology's doing its own thing. Screens moving around. Bank accounts changing. Identities being taken. And it's such in a way where it can never be tracked or traced. And they're blaming it on other countries and throwing each other's hands around. But really, it's stemming from a worldwide agenda to push the evolution of technology. Right? Which gave birth to an entity that lives deep within its wires, right? But now that the entire system is ba is is sitting on that infrastructure, so it's free game, right? It can take your information, give it to someone else, reroute everything, place an intention. It's a it's a living entity now, right? That's running its own agenda. So now you have like I have this penicillin taste in my mouth. It feels like someone like, this is like a taste of their own medicine, if you will. In a lot of ways, because ooh, these are some serious times. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> so they want people to focus on oh ignore it oh this why and that but it's something about three four five five of cups there's been a lot of loss missing people missing this missing time and all of those things are all correlated back to oh shit you know how they say um, there's the prophecy of, right, from the biblical standpoint, there's a prophecy of pretty much the Antichrist being, you know, reincarnating, right? However, in the day of technology, right, if you are to understand that something is is always happening there's nothing new under the sun there's something about giving birth to that antichrist in technology okay now like i said this isn't about getting give getting doing away with something that is pretty much a necessary evil this is a <clears throat> At the level of consciousness of strength and the five of swords, 
there's a bigger lesson involved. Right? Our curiosity has a two-edged sword. Being curious about something can put us in a ditch, right? Being curious about something can also lead us to a great victory, but it's a double-edged sword. And in order to fine tune that, you have to know discretion, discernment, and how to pivot. There's something about you learning or mastering how to pivot around these events because you cannot stop the strike. You can't stop the clap back, right? It's going to happen, but you have to master how to pivot. Um, how to do a 180 and something about you and your divine union. Y'all are designed to be complete 180s of each other in every form, but necessary. Okay. Because neither of you will fail. Neither of you will, will go back to what broke you. Right. And so you push harder, you work harder, you challenge yourself without needing the other person to tell you you do it instinctually. It's like you synchronize swim, you synchronize fly, you synchronize move across the grid like you glide. Mm hmm. That's why when I move, you move just like that. Hey, DJ, bring it, bring that back. So something, some, something about time is being, the lost time is being brought back. Something is about to rewind. Whew. It's getting hot in here. I am getting so hot. Something about a third event. And it has something to do with a ship waiting for a ship to come in and information. And there's going to be a leak of some sort, six of swords, ten of swords. Um, one thing they won't be able to do is call you crazy. Okay, because something about this is undeniable. You are being exalted. Okay, so these coven, these groups is separating the real from the fake is really, really happening here. It's really cause it's about consciousness. It's about the evolution of, of consciousness, right? We have death and high priestess in reverse. The chariot. Something is about to be exposed about some dark magic. Okay. <clears throat> and the tower in reverse. They were trying to avoid a disaster. So they weren't trying to put this out there put something out there about what is the cause of it, how something could happen. And it has something to do with something that was conjured up. The high priest is in reverse, creating a false God has an adverse effect. And so, so many people are going to wake up and they've been trying to avoid this and work around it for over, for a long time, but it's prophesied. <clears throat> Something's about to rear its ugly head. Mm hmm. I heard wait for. There's a ribbon in the sky for our love. Something about waiting for a ribbon. Watch the ribbon in the sky. I don't know what that is about, but I heard watch the ribbon in the sky. Oh, it's an adventure. Something about a mystery and an adventure is happening here. This is going to be a great adventure. Yes. Okay. If you enjoy the ride. Okay, I'm seeing a great adventure here. Um, yeah, it's like rodeo. Okay, we have the brown horse here. Okay, so there's something that's going to be if you've been you've been if you've been out in the desert for so long, um okay, you're about to be abundant. Here, I'm seeing I'm seeing a palace. I'm seeing a blueprint. I'm seeing something infrastructure being built from the ground up. All right. I heard it from the grapevine. Yes, there's something about having your own produce, building your own 
you know, having your own food source, your own water supply, being f on high ground. And this has something to do with series of events that are meant to play out. But you will not be, you won't be on a ground zero. Something about ground zero here in the chariot. You won't be on ground zero. That's just all I'm hearing. You won't be on ground zero because something about elevation levy something is too low something is too low below sea level below something and this is about having yeah cuz this is about to happen like something is about, is well on its way So I feel like I feel like um God, the universe source is giving you giving you the clues to the riddle on some type of some type of series of events. Yep, yep, y'all. The intentions, okay, to slow down and delay. Ascensions. Transformations. Yes, to keep people fragmented and stuck in their karmic loops. Okay, in levels of dimensions that are repetitive. Okay. Whew. Yes, and, and this is why you're not going to have anything to worry about. So let's get your closing message. Whew. Boy. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh my goodness gracious let's get your closing message in regards to this reading so we have orca well i'm i'm telling you something about orca and wells adventure i told you this is going to be an adventure um dare to do things differently sing your wild song manifest your travel dreams attempt the great journey with confidence be loyal friends and family are your treasure be brave you are more powerful than you know and then we have the bottom of the deck we have action which is everything this reading was about now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pentacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. And then we have lastly, I have to put this out there. All right. It says Lynx, keeper of secrets. Take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. All right, Taurus, these are the closing messages that I have for you. I want to thank Spirit for allowing me to channel messages for Taurus, highest and greatest good. Taurus, I want to thank you for allowing me to interact with your energy. I am restoring all energy back to its original form filling those spaces with divine love ashe and calling back and recalling all of my energy back to its original form taurus i'll see you in the next one until next time bye bye